So every Jamaican should know about the Jamaican breadfruit. After all, it's a popular staple on the island. It's not only delicious and nutritious, but it has a lot of versatility as well. We know about roast breadfruits, breadfruit in soups, salads, and we know about breadfruit powder and the list goes on. But do you know about breadfruit punch? If not, then I'll be showing you guys how to make the best Jamaican breadfruit punch, which is absolutely delicious. And I'm going to show you how to make it the easier way. Stay tuned. How's it going everyone? Welcome to another episode of Earth's Medicine, the channel that introduces you to the healing wonders of Mother Earth with a Jamaican flavor. So as mentioned before, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best Jamaican breadfruit punch. But before I do that, I'm going to be sharing some breadfruit facts. And right after that, Rocky will be harvesting breadfruits from these trees. And I'm inviting you guys to come along. So let's go. The Jamaican breadfruit is a large tropical fruit that can be round or oblong in shape. It has green skin which is composed of polygonal sectors. Breadfruit has three stages of development. There is immature, mature and ripe. An immature breadfruit is the smallest of the three and the skin is bright green. The fruit is also firm at this stage and the flesh is white green, starchy and slightly fibrous. The taste is undesirable as well. Another way in which you can identify an immature breadfruit is by the latex it exudes when picked or cut. Mature breadfruit has either light green, yellow green, or yellow skin. The fruit is also firm and the flesh is white and it has a good flavor when cooked. Ripe breadfruit tends to have a yellowish brown skin the fruit softens at this stage and the flesh is pasty, something similar to custard. The color of the flesh can either be cream or yellowish. It also has a sweet taste and a fragrance as well. Breadfruit comes from the breadfruit tree which is a beautiful fast growing tree that can grow between 40 and 60 feet tall. The botanical name for breadfruit is Artocarpus altilis and it's a part of the Mauraceae family to which jackfruits mulberries and figs also belong. Breadfruit is native to New Guinea and the Indo-Malay region, but it was introduced to Jamaica by Captain Bly in 1793. Later on, it was introduced to the Americas and it later spread to other tropical regions. In Jamaica, it grows everywhere. You can find it growing in backyards, along roadsides and in other green spaces. The Jamaican breadfruit plays an important role in the diet of Jamaicans. 
it is relatively cheap and it is also readily available when in season. One breadfruit tree has the ability to produce over 300 fruits within the course of a year and one breadfruit can weigh up to five pounds which is enough to feed an entire family depending on the size so you can see that breadfruit has the potential to contribute to food security in developing countries <laughs> The Jamaican breadfruit tree is very, very versatile, and so too are the fruits. The fruits can be eaten in all stages of development and can be prepared in many, many different ways. The fruit can be roasted, boiled, steamed, and baked to make bread pastries, crackers, chips, and other snacks. Other cooking methods can also be used to prepare it as well. Breadfruit can also be dried and grounded into a flour, and it can also be used to make smoothies, and as mentioned earlier, it can also be used to make a very delicious punch. The Jamaican breadfruit is a complex carbohydrate. This means that it is not easily metabolized like white rice and white flour. So when breadfruit is consumed, it makes you stay full for longer periods of time which can help to prevent overeating. In Jamaica, there tends to be a problem with obesity and lifestyle-related diseases, such as diabetes, for example. So this makes breadfruit an excellent choice, especially for persons who fall into this category. Breadfruit is also an energy rich food. It is also rich in antioxidants and it contains omega 3 and omega 6 fatty acids, which can help to stimulate skin and hair growth and promote bone health as well. Breadfruit is also gluten free. It is low in fat and it is a complete protein, providing all nine of the essential amino acids. In fact, the protein in breadfruit has a higher proportion of amino acids than soy. Breadfruit is also very rich in potassium and so it is especially good for people who have high blood pressure because they need to cut down on their sodium intake and maintain their electrolyte balance as well. Breadfruit also has a number of other vitamins and minerals that are available in appreciable quantities, which makes it a good all-round food for consumption. <laughs> This is what we call birch root. Nice roasting on. Huh?
Yeah, oh. that's a nice rose in breadfruit. checking out this video guys i hope you really liked it and i hope you got some value if you did and you would like to see more videos like this one in the future then go ahead and hit that subscription button right now and please turn on your post notifications so that you will get an alert the next time i upload a video and guys please leave a like and a comment and share this video as well because it really helps out this channel a lot see you next week sunday at 2 p.m eastern standard time